What is going on guys? Valentine's is near and therefore the Valentine's update has just launched on the crushed out client, which is super cool. We got the uh, stallion wheels once again. Freaking awesome. Um, if you bought this pack last year, you might want to go ahead and get rid of the stallion wheels in a goddamn hurry. These will drop in price. But look at all the cool new stuff that we've gotten. The pack is the same as last year, so if you saw the last uh, last year, you probably aren't missing anything. Like really but if you are semi new to the game i got some sweet news for you um i didn't get the pack last year because i had a break when it was well valentine's last year so i didn't get to to get this sweet looking ride but let's just quickly break down what we actually get here we're getting a jockey cabin which is a very very nice cabin uh let's just see about the price and stuff like that right now 358 so it's a semi expensive cabin the, the price will drop as of right now, don't, don't, don't even, like, consider anything else. <laughs> don't know what I'm trying to say. But you get what I mean. We're getting stallion wheels, which are, in my opinion, the most amazing wheels in the game. For the simple fact that you can, like, lower and, and hide, hide in your ride. And these are true low rider wheels um, with hydraulics, which is just cool. Just look at this bouncy bouncy ride right here that is so amazing i'm super hyped about this and then we also get a sweet sweet new paint and just like i'm not gonna search my inventory for it so let's just find the pack here it should be here somewhere there it is we are getting we are getting there it is we're getting the lollipop paint and the aluminum paint once again which makes me a bit sad because now i have four and i'm trying to make the price go up so that i can sell them then we're getting a few new few new decor items as well um some brake lights and some blue weapons and a chill radiator and on top of all of that you also get a thousand coins so in my opinion this is a very good pack like limited packs are always cool but you also sort of have to enjoy the game uh, more than just a regular player i'd say if, if you really get hyped about this stuff but it is a pretty good deal in my opinion like the paint before the pack the paint was something like 350 as well and stallion steering wheels are 300 something almost 400 actually i think and then regular stallion wheels are 120 so you do get a lot of goods for just 20 euros on this pack and i'm not paid to say any of that they won't give me a promo account so i'm just gonna keep on spending my money so that i can make videos for you guys it's all good though it's all good so what else do we get like we got a new pack or right, the same as last year but we also have a challenge here not a big challenge in any way and frankly i don't even see much of a reason for it i don't know if they're going to implement more but all we got is win a mission with uh one mission in the missions or raids or one battle in missions or raids while in a group to get a purple firework for seven days i don't like it's all good with the fireworks and stuff like that, but they just end up stacking up in your inventory. I think I still have some from New Year actually that I haven't even used yet. So, like, I don't, I don't see why it, it would be cool if the challenge was a bit harder and then this was not a temporary part. Then I actually think that it would make sense. Um, I'm, I sort of want to know what what else has been changing. So I actually, I'm just gonna bring up the page here. And let's just see, because we got more, we got more guys, and then we just... Alright, because here is the new patch notes. Trials and banners, so the patches are gone with this new patch actually let's just go to the game here and see if i go to my profile look at this guys patches are completely reworked all of the stuff that we had before with mvp patches and all that gone now we have trials which is different tasks that you complete and with that you get points and we got to see what we do with those points because i don't know right now and then we got medals we've always always had those and then we can create a new banner because look at this we got a ton of new banners here with a ton of images and stuff like that which is going to be cool because there's a new level of grinding that does not just mean grinding points but also grinding all of these and in my opinion 
having personalized stuff that shows off you as a player is cool and shows off just like it's it's a it's a way of bragging really but i find that cool at least so i don't know if points do anything points for trial so we gotta get i think this is just the max let's see what it says out here the trials tab added a trials tab to the player's profile it contains all the trials that can be completed by the player trials are divided into categories depending on the way they are completed the mode in which they are completed okay cool so uh, as your level of reputation grows with the engineer's faction and the trials are completed, you will discover the, uh, they are more complex variants with new rewards. Uh, completing each trial unlocks unique backgrounds. Yes, so I think this is just the max that you can get. Then we have the banner tab. Uh, players can choose a portrait for himself as well as a background and a logo that decorate to decorate his uh, personal banner. Okay, good. Technology tree. A new tab technology tree has been added to the factions section. Uh, oh my Google Home is just going crazy. Stop. I hate when it just turns on. <laughs> A new technology tree has been added to the faction section. This section contains all the cabins, weapons and equipment and movement parts that are in the game. For your convenience, all these parts are divided into four categories. Each category is subdivided into additional subcategories, okay, uh, which you can find out quickly. What? That's weird. Let have, let's have a look at that. Okay, technology tree. So, what are these? Wow, uh, what are these supposed to do? I wonder if this is whenever you, because I have the icebox cabin already. Why would I, Why would it be in here? Weapons. So this is a, I think this is just to give you an overview of the equivalence of parts and like how they progress through different stages um, to give you a better overview. Maybe so you don't have to scroll through each faction to find stuff. That is my best idea for what this is supposed to be used for. Um, all parts to play in the tree are arranged According to rarity, which makes it easy to find the icon of the desired part. Clicking on the icon of a craftable part opens a menu that allows you to quick buy, sell part, check its characteristics, or go to its card on the market. Okay, so I don't really know what the point of the technology tree is. Maybe some of you guys know, because crafting still seems the same. Yup, it is. Technology tree. Let's just try to select the humpback cabin here. Like, there's nothing different about this at all. You can sort, or oh, even though this sorting does not really work, it seems like. Nope. You get different modules. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at when I click this. Oh, I'm going through each category. Like, the cabin was just too small to do anything. Okay. I, I sort of like this to inform people better about what leads to which parts and which stuff is the equivalent of what um, if that makes sense so I'm digging it as far as the interface but is it a necessary change not in my opinion but let me know what you guys think about this it's super cool nevertheless and then lastly look at this here is what we have to do win one battle playing in a group with your friend and get a unique purple fireworks so you get new challenges if you do more, which is cool, and that is worth noting. Win five battles uh, to get a unique sticker to love. Win ten battles to get a, ten battles to get a unique sticker. XO XO XO. That is cool. New packs have been added to the in-game in store appearance tab. So we also have some new stuff in here. Let's see shop customization. Oh, so we got all this new stuff in here. Even though, like, this stuff is cool. Don't get me wrong. I want to hear this sound. Let's just see. I think there's a sound file here. I like that. I like that. And that's a pretty nasty paint as well, to be honest. Like. I'm sort of vibing it, even though I will probably never use it. I feel like I gotta get that pack, though. And then we also got a ton of new stickers here, which is uh, some some cool, some not so cool. I like this one. This one would probably go very well on red builds. Uh, you can probably do some pretty sick stuff there. 
have we got anything else we don't so we got new stickers we got new paints horns and decors uh what is this heart of steel oh this will go so cool on um like if you have a if you have an art build like this one that maybe needs some sort of a is it a monogram i don't know but you know needs sort of a front figure there to, sh to just make it look more realistic like a mercedes has that big round thingy on top uh their logo uh so that is actually really cool I like the uh, horn. I like the horn. I gotta get that. <laughs> but this covers it pretty much, I think. Let's see if we have any changes to the game. Parts production. Now the production of relic rarity parts no longer requires relic fragments. Okay. So have they implemented the new crafting system already? Let's see that. Engineers, manufacturing. And Scorpion. Mm, yeah, they just changed what you need um, as far as fragments goes, but they haven't changed clan walls yet. I think clan. So let's just see. Because so they're going to change clan walls and the way that they pay out. Okay, this takes forever to load. While it does that, let's just see. Okay, so Michelin, Michelin. I'm going to slaughter that word. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> A number of improvements in the new lightning system. The overall contrast of surroundings have been reduced. Reduced fog intensity on various maps. Implemented improved light sources on the map power plant. Cool. The bug fixes. Fix the bug where the use of the neutrino scope did not undercover the enemy. Uncover the enemies. Fix the bug where insufficient visibility of the Mandrake hovits hovits the scope. What? I don't get what they mean by that. Fix the bug with the lag of fire effects in the deco corner, destro and corner sinistro. Oh, Let's just see what they have changed with that. I know I have it on this one. Test drive. Cool. We got our fire back. Like, that was such a bummer. I felt like they removed the big fireballs. But also the Venetiles has the same fireball now. That is amazing. Finally, fixed the turret pla placement sound in the Raid Frontier Defense. So we got a sound for the turret placements. Not a big deal, but it is something though. So, all in all, in my opinion... This is cool, like, devs are definitely doing what they can right now to improve the game, and we gotta appreciate that, like, we really do. So, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you can put it to good use, and got some sort of an overview of what the changes um, that are made to the game, like, what sort of changes has been made. Until next time, have an awesome day, bye guys.